Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. Jacob with Paradox Multimedia here and welcome back to another video. We're going to be doing another Paradox Music Critique. I know I've been doing these a lot more lately. That's just kind of because I've got a bunch that I want to do and I've got a couple more that I've been asked to do. So just kind of get used to them for a little bit. I do have some other videos planned, don't worry, and there's going to be more music out soon but if you know you don't want to watch this one you can go ahead and skip it maybe check out the rest of the series if you haven't this is episode 14 so if you haven't seen this definitely go check out the other videos maybe you might like them better than this one but anyways this one i've been waiting to do for a while because this album came out i think around the time i started doing these or like a little bit before i started doing these so we are going to finally be getting into blue laces third album that's right his third album and that is of course diamonds now diamonds came out a couple of months after neon did yeah it came out december 31st 2020 so like new year's eve uh, right on the edge there so it's about a year and a half old but it definitely shows its age compared to his newer music. So that's kind of what we're gonna talk about today. I haven't listened to this really since it came out, so maybe it's better than I remember, I don't know. I, I found plenty of good songs in his older stuff that I liked, so who knows? But yeah, if you enjoy this video, you know, normal stuff, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, let me know if there's anybody else you'd like me to check out, and please mention what release you want me to check out. Don't I'm just gonna be like hey check out this artist and be like okay but well, what do you want me to check out about them or again if you're a music producer and you want some feedback on your work let me know that's what they're there for anyways uh real quick just want to mention again um gems came out last month so check that out five new hip-hop instrumental tracks i also recently put up the soundtrack i did for a play that i was hired to compose for called seduced also you know gems merch um i'm going on way too long with this so we're gonna get into gems now all right it's a good start Very spacey feeling, kind of cheery, you know? Just like... Oh, that build-up was kind of sudden. I don't hate this drop, I guess you could say. It just... It doesn't feel like it fits. It's also, again, just very sudden. There's not really a drop to it. Also, this, this is a, I think a riser. Yeah, not a downlifter. There is way too much in the low end there. Okay. Yeah. That weird post drop bit was kind of weird. <laughs> Redundant, but I mean, I don't know what else to say about it. And this part is just—it's disjointed from the original sound of the song. not very well transitioned between one part to the next to here. We just fade it out and then we're in another part. Okay. I feel like there this possibly could have worked if there was like more cohesion to it and if it wasn't just like one segment after another. And there was just like a very slight riser there into this post drop part, which, okay. Then there's a fill into this other part here. It just doesn't flow very well. And I hate how it deviated from the original vibe. 
Like, it's still, I guess, kind of chewy, but there's no spaciness to it. It's just like... It doesn't feel like the same song. That was weirdly timed there. I don't exactly hate this song, but it's definitely not going to be my favorite. I'll say that. Also, this song just kind of feels a bit too long for all the stuff in it. It doesn't feel like the length of it is justified by just how much he's tried to shove into this. And I say this, we're only like two-thirds of the way through the song, or about so. Now, I don't... Short-term memory, but I don't think I've heard the first drop since it first played. <laughs> I may be wrong, point out in the comments if I'm wrong, but I think this is just completely ignored the beginning part in the first drop, like going past it. Again, like this part isn't bad, like most of this song, like the different parts are okay but they just don't work very well. They don't work together very well. this point it's just annoyingly repetitive yeah it feels like it cut right before it could properly finish fading I wow N not the start I expected or remembered to this one uh, it's average for his sound I mean I call this 5 out of 10 This definitely doesn't match the vibe of the name. I mean, the E piano here, the like slightly distorted E piano, and the hip hop kind of like lower. there kind of are a vibe but definitely not a like, killer vibe also there's a weird kind of like boom there just like poof. i don't know if you can hear it but that there it is again it's kind of a weird touch nope not a big fan of this It's not a good fit, it sounds a little, like, compressed and weirdly filtered. Maybe even just a little slowed? Hmm. And it just kind of cuts back to the E piano, but it's a little louder, a little base here? It's 
It's also like a different kind of melody. I mean, I'm all for like experimenting and blues music is no short of experimentation. <laughs> but this, I feel like this is not the way to try new things. Because while it sounds kind of different, it's kind of the same old thing. Like he had shown some improvement in previous stuff, but still Yeah, this one definitely sounds slowed. Yeah, I recognize that little shot there. I feel like I've used this in an unreleased song. I'm pretty sure I've got this pack. Yeah, this is definitely slowed down. This is supposed to be like 140, 150. And this sounds much slower than that. If you told me the song was 150, like, I don't think I could believe you. This one, I really didn't like that much when I first heard it. And I'm still just as disappointed in the direction he took it. Like, the e-piano, the kind of click and kick, and whatever from the beginning. Like, those are good ideas. And I kind of like that fade out at the end, though I feel like it's a little too quick. There's potential here for a good song, minus the drops. It's just not very well executed at all. Uh, this one, I'm going to put this a little lower at like 4 out of 10. Vocal chop was neat, but like this kind of piano synth thing going on feels a little bit off. Doesn't seem to match the tempo. Oh, speaking of which, holy crap, those that build up there. Okay. Whoa. Those drums were definitely not the same tempo. Those were like sped up. Or like they were just dropped in and weren't made to match the tempo of the song. And that was also poorly timed. I've heard plenty of songs that can like do a build up early on really well. But that is way above whatever this is. I mean, this drop isn't terrible, but it, again, doesn't match the song. Also, something about the bass doesn't really sit well with me. I can't quite put my finger on it. It's just a little whack. It just kind of fades out. Oh, this is the part from the verse. Okay. It took me a second there. Probably because I can actually hear it without the vocal chops. Yeah. It sounds a little bit different. Maybe. Maybe not. So, I've mentioned this before, but 
I don't like the way Blue uses vocal chops in a lot of his music just because they don't change enough and they kind of overstay their welcome. It becomes a little annoying. That build up there was a little bit better. Still not great. But yeah, like, I use vocal chops in my music, but like, I bring them out for like a couple of measures, maybe a couple of bars, and I, it's probably not the same thing. But I bring them out a bit, and then I cut them out, or like, I bring in different chops, or like, I'll try to alternate them and layer them, maybe. I try not to have them just like playing for too long, because. Yeah, man, it can get kind of annoying, no matter how well the chops are made, no matter how well they match the melody or the rest of the song, it just, it can become a bit much if it's just the same thing. So that last, like, snare hit there, I think, didn't really fade out with the rest, which is weird. Also, not a fan of how he's doing this thing where, like, he's just fading out for transitions. He just kind of fades out and then comes back in at full volume with the next part. It doesn't even, like, crossfade or anything. It just kind of sucks, because I know how much better he is now, so it's like, hearing this, it's like, I know this is his older work, but at the same time, it's like, dude, <laughs> what were you doing? But, yeah, um, didn't, didn't really like this one, either. Um, I think I'll call this one another 4 out of 10. Alright, this is a really good start. I like the synth chords here. This build up is much better. that build up better this drop is okay probably would have sounded better if it used a different like art synth stab whatever you want to call it probably not an art um it's not bad but i feel like there's something holding it back and just like that we're back to the verse part another thing he he'll put in like something that's actually really good and it'll just like last not nearly long enough This one isn't nearly as bad as the others so far. I feel like with a little bit of tweaking, it could really like, get pulled together. Maybe just add something more to it. Like, 
kind of it the melody chords whatever just like it feels kind of samey which i feel like is what holds it back a bit and that really didn't fade out the best i mean it's an all right song it's called a six out of ten piano is a little bit loud here at the beginning. The melody sounds familiar, though I could be remembering from like when I first listened to it. Yeah, I feel like the chops could use something more to make them pop. Maybe a little, like, compression or something. That pad is way too loud, though. That should be pat pushed much further in the back of the mix. Like, holy crap. Okay. So this could fit. Also, not really much transitioning it over. Oh, it, it's just gone. Okay. Didn't even have a chance to properly think of anything to say about it aside from it could work. Alright, dang, man. I feel like this needs something more to spice it up besides just like the melody, the chords, and the vocal chops there. said spice it up but that's not it it's not it fam better, but they could be louder. And just like that. Next bit. It's just the piano and the pad now. See, Dimes is the type of album that could be better if there was more time put into it to make sure each song is just more cohesive. By which I mean, like, the different parts of it, just like they don't really communicate with each other, if that makes sense. It's like you're taking a. It's like uh, that clip where like shows the person putting different shapes into the square hole. It's like yeah, you can do that, but that's not really the right way to do it. It's not the same, you know. I feel like that was a weird comparison to make for this, but that's kind of how I view this. Like, yeah, you can do that, but it's better if you put it where it goes, if you try to make it make sense, and just throwing things into the DAW onto the track and just being like, well, this, this is so structured. Like, yeah, structure is important, but, like, that doesn't matter if 
the different parts in it don't work with each other. I'm starting to ramble a little bit now. Uh, yeah, this is also pretty average. This is 5 out of 10 to me. So I mainly remember this one for the vocals. At least he tried to use more than one loop this time for the verse. Mainly this one, but he did the little thing at the beginning. Another off tempo build up. Feels very different. Why do so many of the songs in this album have this kind of like, all right, let's establish this and then pull a 180 on the drop so it's completely different now. Like it goes from chill electronic, almost like ambient even. And then there's just like this drum and bass section here. Like what? Come on, man. It's weird because I know he's not the biggest fan of drum and bass, and like this the second or third song that he's done something like drum and bass in that I've looked at, or at least I remember him saying he's not the biggest fan of drum and bass. That's why he never did one of those ranking videos of his for drum and basics because it's all drum and bass, and he said that he wasn't sure what he would say about them aside from each and I'm not really being his taste. I'm pretty sure that's what he said before. Yeah. Uh, I'm finding I have less and less things to really say about these tracks. That's not really a good thing. It's like, what can I really say about each different track? That's not just the same, like, oh, it doesn't really fit. Oh, this is off tempo. And, like, I'm not trying to be super negative about these, but it's like, I don't have a whole lot of good things I can say about it. And then just kind of cuts off there. Yeah, this kind of a disappointment, really. I wouldn't even say it's as good as the other ones. Uh, let's hope there's something good that I forgot in these last four tracks. But for this one, I gotta call this a 3 out of 10, man. Sorry. Here. Most shots sound kind of slowed down, a little too loud. The melody, though, the piano melody is nice. It had kind of montage vibes. I wouldn't mind this drop if there's a little bit of that melody there. You know, something. Alright, I 
feel like that drop was a decent length, but again, no transition. Like, how hard is it to do a crossfade? Like, come on, man. Up, up, the melody moved too late. Seems like the chops are suddenly too wow man this was I mean it's not terrible but I don't think I could say it's that good either that's just me personally I'm not a huge fan of this one really so it's gonna be another 3 out of 3 out of 10 for me partner It just, it started with the second half of the melody. Yeah, there, or like, last third, maybe? drum loop ends just before the melody does. Yeah, you can hear it. It's like just before the melody ends. He keeps using these drops to have like these Chord stabs, or whatever you call them, that just like don't sound anything like the rest of the song. Like, I get it. The drop, you can really shake it up and do different stuff in, but like, unless you have something that just ended. Okay. Anyways, the drop sounds very different from the song, which has like, kind of been a point I've been making about this entire album, which, like, I'm guilty of it. I've used drops that don't really sound like the song, but I try to throw things in to, like, say it with me, make it sound more cohesive. Here comes another build-up. See what comes after this. Will it be the same drop? Yep.
goes on a little bit longer maybe. same melody from the beginning of the song, like the last 15 seconds. Yeah, I had hoped this one was better than I remembered, but nope, <clears throat> still not great. And it's like the parts that are good are just not good enough to make the parts that are bad not bad. <sighs> This one's another 3 out of 10, folks. Let me tell ya. Very forward with this one. Okay. Okay. I like the melody for this one, but I feel like the chords could be turned down. Same here. No, I gotta say, he uses a lot of piano in these songs. And like, there's nothing wrong with using piano. It's great. Obviously, it's a very normal instrument to use, but like, you gotta have some different keys or something, right, man? Okay. This drop is pleasant. Again, it's like a completely different song. Maybe if you used a similar synth on, like, the melody, maybe it could have worked. I don't know, man. Instrumentation is... I've said this before in an interview I did with Blue, but instrumentation is one of the key things that makes a song sound consistent. Like, even if you completely change it up, if you keep the same synth and, like, same bass, chord kind of like thing like it'll sound consistent enough that it's like okay this is still the same song it may still feel different but like and here it just I don't really see the connection here okay here the chords are better. So the drums seem a little messy. It's hard to distinguish the different parts here. Sounds like we got kind of a shaker, like some claps. And here we are, back at the beginning we started. interesting the drop melody the reverb is a lot more noticeable when there's nothing else playing and it's not even like there's that much else playing in the actual drop that's weird like you can still hear it but it's not nearly as like prominent with the reverb, like it's not dialed up that much. Or that little, I don't know. Okay. Don't let it finish looping, just kind of bring it back in. Like we're right at the end of the song, but 
why not? Yeah, those chords still get way too loud. What? What? What was that? Why would you put a riser at the end of the song like that? For no reason. <sighs> this song, man. I don't really have anything else to say here. I'm going to call this one a 4 out of 10. Man, every track in this album has piano. Jeez. I do like this melody, though. It sounds like something else I've heard before, though. Can't quite place it. Okay. I don't know why they use a riser to bring in that other melody, like that bass there. say that it doesn't match the song like this time it was like a very solemn kind of vibe just broken up by a more upbeat sounding drop it's weird a lot of these tracks don't really let things rest or their like different sections go on for way too long decision to remove this album from like stores and streaming services and stuff I kind of I think it'd be cool if he revisited some of these tracks and touched them up gave them a proper like kind of rewrite and stuff kind of like the uh, reimagined uh, versions he's done of some of his more recent songs This was like a year and a half ago, so like I don't know if he still has all the project files for these, but relatively inoffensive it's not great but it's not the worst on here mm. I'd say this one's worth a 4 out of 10 okay I did another sort of, like, starting with the melody partway through. And now we have a 
different melody here. I'll go back to that. Is it just me or does this melody sound similar to the previous song? Like not exactly the same, but similar. Man, these build ups are killing me. Like not the right tempo, or they're like slightly off beat. out there. Oh man, that drop really doesn't work for me. Like, the song has this vast and glittery, like, gem-like feel. Like diamonds. And it... it the drop doesn't convey that in any way. It's build up during. Okay. That felt weirdly times where the drop came in, personally. definitely didn't sound like it finished properly and it sounds like you just layered a completely different drop on top of this one heard enough of this album for a while just man I know this is one that a lot of people seem to really like but I just I don't I can give this one a 4 out of 10 but that's about the best I can give it Alright, so, that wasn't great. I've listened to some bad music, especially some bad Blue Lays music, but this was just very disappointing. And again, I've been disappointed by music before. I've been disappointed by, you know, Soundwave's album Beginnings, which, I mean, that were pretty bad. But, like, this being so far into Blue's, I guess, music career, it, you'd think it would have been better. And it's definitely a step ahead of some of his older stuff but it still runs into some of the same old problems he's had with a lot of his music uh, especially his lower rated music this one just felt like he was throwing things in that he thought sounded cool but without any you know thought about like hey does this really work or like you know what can i do to make this work so you know honestly hoped that this would be better than i remembered and honestly it's just Especially songs like Killer Instinct and like uh, Sparkles in the Night. Even Stars, like dang dude, you dropped the ball a bit. I mean, he's definitely better now, even just like a year and a half later. But there's still plenty of music to check out between 
then and now. So if you want to know when I'm going to talk about blues music again, uh, I'll be talking about his Breathe EP. I believe that came before Popish. Or you want to see who I talk about next, go ahead and subscribe. Click the notification bell. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment your thoughts down below. Was I right? Was I wrong? Or again, do you have an artist you want me to check out? Are you an artist? And do you want me to check out your music? Let me know. Check out Gems, my latest EP. Check out my merch store. Got some new stuff there. Still got some more stuff I want to get up soon. Check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash paradoxmm underscore. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. So I hope you have a great day. I hope you're seeing this and I'll see you next time. Bye.